So today we carry on the testing of Lady Guinevere and we're utilizing still Dendrain. And what we've done now is we are testing today if we change up the War Tombs, does it make that much difference to the game itself? Let's go and have a look at how I prepared for today's Golem March tests. Hey guys, Pokey Mountain here bringing you another Go Golem March video. And in today's video, we're going to carry on our ser series where we test Lady Guinevere. And today we're going to be testing it by splitting up our war tombs. Right, so first things first, let's just quickly go through to the main game. Okay. Now, if we go through to war tombs, you'll see what I did in today's testing is I've actually split the war tombs. I've put 10 into the Cavalry Defiant Charge, which gives them the extra 2% transferred from defense to attack. So that's going to be great. And then the other 10 I've put into the Arrows of Vengeance. Um, I had one left over, so I just threw it into the T9, one T9 Bowman. It's not going to make that much difference. Um, so we've got the defense of the Bowman going into the attack, and we've got the defense of the Cavalry going into the attack. So we're going to see if this makes any real difference. The way we're going to test it is we're going to do five marches utilizing the Lady Guinevere with Dendrain, which is march number four. And you'll see I actually balanced out it a little bit where I brought up the number of cavalry and brought down the number of bowmen. So here we've got 70,000 cavalry and we've got 80,000 bowmen. And then here we've got 60,000 cavalry and 100,000 bowmen. Simply because the T9 bowmen is who's going to do the most damage. Then here we got 25,000 of each of the other bowmen. Okay, that's march number four, and that's going to be testing against our typical march, which is going to be our Dindrain and Brutus, and we're going to see how well they do. I'm going to activate my Colossal Talent now. Everything else is ready to go. I've got my boots, I've got my accolades and everything set up. So we're going to activate our Colossal March, and what we're going to do is we're going to add the extra troops into uh, Cavalry for Lady Guinevere's March, we're going to add the extra troop to Bowman for Dindrain and Brutus as much. And then we can start testing it out. So, first thing first, let's activate that. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our marches. And we're going to increase the cavalry here by the 11,000 extra troops. And here we're going to increase the T9 Bowman. Oh, it's already saved from before. That's right. Okay. Right. So we are ready to go. We have teleported to the right location. So we're just going to go straight over here. And we're going to say attack so that we are in place. Have I got my correct hero appointed, Sir Gawain? Yes, I do. Right. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to say attack. First five attacks, we're going to utilize the Lady Guinevere and Dendrain. Then we're going to put our tombs back to just Bowman and test with the Dendrain and Brutus. And then we can compare the results on our document and see how it goes. Right, I'm going to start off the march here. 372,000 is what is the number we need to remember. 372,000 so that we know each time we march that we've got the correct sign. I'm going to speed up the video at this point and I will see you at the end of the 10 marches. But if you watch the video, you'll actually see where I go into the tombs at the halfway mark and change it over and all that jazz. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys at the end. Enjoy the music.
Okay, here we go. Our 10th and final march. Uh, if, you, if you were watching there, you would have seen did the switch over. Uh, after five, I went and changed my tombs to be all bowmen. So that we got our framework to compare. And now we have got our 10 reports. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Put a little star there so we don't mix them up. Right, so there we go. These five that you see here on the screen now, this is the Dendrain and Lady Guinevere with the war tomb split 50 50 between bowmen and cavalry. Irrespective of what happens today, in the next test, we will do it with having all the tombs in cavalry and see if that makes a difference. So here we go, 13.9 million, 14.3 million, 14.1 million, 14.3 million, oops, same one, sorry, and then 14.1 million. So 13.9, what was, what was the lowest we had? Would be the very wasn't it 39 so 39 to 14 1 okay then these are the five with uh, dendrain and brutus i clicked on that one by mistake 15.1 million 14.9 million 14.9 14.3 million that's the low so far and 16 Point one million. That's the high, right? I'm going to put them into the Excel spreadsheet, and then you can have a nice comparison. Okay, got the Excel document calculated and ready. We're going to go have a look at that quickly. And there we go. So this is where we are. We're sitting with uh, these two rows over here, and you can see Lady Guinevere will be split the tombs. Got thirteen point nine, fourteen point three, fourteen point one, fourteen point three, fourteen point one. For an average of 14.17 million. Um, the lowest average we've had yet, actually, throughout all the different tests that we've done. Then the NST on their own 14.9, 14.9, 15.1, 14.3, .1, uh, and 16.1. For an average of 15.1 million. Slightly higher than they have been before, but that's because it is a shop event and obviously with a few upgrades, statistics have increased. That's actually why we always do five and five because as time goes by naturally your troops improve in one way or another whether it's through uh prestige banners or anything like that and you need to have a baseline constantly so comparing the two against each other 14.1 million versus an average of 15.1 million that's a big difference that's 10 million damage difference at the end and i would definitely say the s2 heroes have taken this one the low on the Lady Guinevere side compared to the low on the NS2 side, get rid of those, is 13.9 and 14.3. So the low variance is 100,000. And then the high of the Lady Guinevere versus the high of the. You know, I should actually put this into the actual document, it'll be easier. The high of Lady Guinevere versus the high of the NS2 is 14.3 million compared to 16.1 million. So 1.8 million difference. So a, 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 an astronomical difference there. Absolutely astronomical. So the splitting the tombs, not going to work. Um, we will test next week to see if we put all the tombs into cavalry. Does that make any difference? If you guys have any other thoughts, uh, maybe you want us to try and do something a little bit differently. Or maybe I should change the formation up for some reason. If you have tested Lady Guinevere and you are finding that she's doing better for you than the NS2 heroes did, please tell me in the drop of your comments down below. Tell me what it is that you utilized formation wise so that we can make sure we are giving the best test. As it stands now, it looks like the NS2 heroes, no matter what we've done so far, the NS2 heroes has pulled it out every single time. Now, the next hero upgrade that we are expecting should be Bowman. Um, that it follows a pattern of what they do. Um, they came out with the NS1 heroes, which were cavalry based, NS2 heroes were NS were Bowman based, NS3 heroes were infantry based, and now the new heroes, uh, Guinevere and Mordred, are again cavalry based. So, the next ones we're expecting to be Bowman based, and they will they will make a difference here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. I'm sure that they will take. 
two heroes out. But as it stands now, it looks like the NS2 heroes are still on top. Still got a little bit more testing to do. We will test with all the tombs into cavalry. And as I say, if you guys have got any other suggestions, pop it in the comments down below. And we'll see if there's something there that we can also test to see what results we get. Otherwise, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out immensely. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification icon so that you can know whenever I go live or whenever I upload a new video for Golem Marches, KOA updates, ultimate documents, like that. Until the next video, guys, be good, be well. Bye.